In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a, one of our NVRs to de-warp a 180 degree or 360 degree camera. In this example, we're using our 5 megapixel 180 degree camera, and here we can see we have it connected to channel 1 on our NVR. Now, this is one of our NVRs, either the 5000 or 6000 series, that includes the de-warping feature on the NVR itself. If you have a 180 degree or a 360 degree camera with one of our 4000 series NVRs, then you would be able to de-warp the camera using the software on a computer, which we cover in another video. But again, in this video, we're using one of the NVRs that does support de-warping on a monitor. So here we have the grid view pulled up. We have a 16 grid view. And again, our channel is connected to, or our camera is connected to channel one. In order to fisheye this camera or de-warp it, we're going to double click on it to bring it into full screen. Now this should automatically bring it into the mainstream. If it does not, you're going to want to hover to the top and on the right hand side you're going to see an M, S1 or S2 and you're going to want to make sure you switch it to the mainstream. And here we can see we're on the mainstream which is M. And then in order to de-warp this camera we're going to first right click on the channel. It's going to bring up our main menu here and then we can see fisheye. It's about the fifth option from the bottom. So we're going to click on fisheye. It's going to bring up our fit mode and our show mode. Fit mode basically means your installation mode, and the show mode is the different views that you'll get. So this is saying that this would be a ceiling mount, this is a wall mount, and this is a flat surface mount, such as a countertop or a table. And these are the different modes. So here we have this mode for a ceiling mount, we have this mode, we have the four grid view here. It's like four grids on the right and a full screen view on the left six grids at the top and then a kind of view at the bottom to allow us to adjust those and we have an eight grid view with a full screen grid view in the center now we have a wall mount we have full screen which allows you to do a pan and tilt just on this particular portion again if you had a 360 degree camera you would have a lot more range of motion and then we have a four grid view here with a full screen on the left we have four on the right, and a full screen on the left, and full screen in the center with eight grid view around. And the surface mount is very similar to the ceiling mount uh, with the similar options here. One of them may be slightly different than the others. But in the way we have this camera set up, we have it basically emulating a wall mount. So we'll go ahead and cover these views. You can, of course, play around with these views as you see fit. And then the NVR will remember the last view that you did set up for this camera. So right now, since we have it in a wall mount kind of setup, we have the full screen view here with the circular. This is the warped view. We have the full screen de-warped view. If we right click out of this menu, it's gonna allow us to pan and drag, like click and drag actually up and down on this view. We can right click, go back into the fisheye menu, go to the four camera grid view. We can right click to get back out of this menu here. On the top left hand side we see it's our full screen view and we're going to see several different colors here. These are each of our views. As, you as I hover over them you can see it highlights the blue view on the bottom left, the yellow view on the bottom right, and finally the green view on the top right. So we can adjust these as we wish over here using their designated shape and color or we can actually click on that portion of the view and it's going to modify this on the right hand side. Now keep in mind this is kind of inverse um, so if I drag going up, it's going to go down. If I drag down, it's going to go up. And vice versa for right, it's going to go left. And left, it goes to the right. We go back in our fisheye menu here by right-clicking, going to fisheye. We have our full screen on the left with four grids on the right. Again, green, blue, magenta, and yellow. And we can modify them just like we could in the other view. So we'll go in the fisheye again, and finally we have the full screen in the middle and eight grids around. And each of these are adjustable, as you could see before, by either clicking on here or clicking and dragging the shape around. And then we can double click to bring, take it out of full screen. As you see, it remembers the last view that we had, and we can even adjust them in this camera grid view as well. And it'll always remember the last view that you used. Now, Keep in mind, you can also de-warp in the playback. So we have a hard drive installed over NVR here, and it's, in, it's currently recording this first channel. And in order to get there, we're going to either first go to right-click and go to the main menu, or click the search button. We'll go through the main menu to show you how to get to the search function from the main menu. So right-click, go to main menu. 
On the top left hand side you can see playback, view, search and play recorded videos. So we'll click there. And here we have the date and time selected for today. And we can see we have a decent amount of recorded video here for the first channel. So we'll go ahead and click and bring this channel up. Now you can see it's going to bring it up in the warped view because that's how the camera is actually being recorded to the NVR. The neat thing about these NVRs is you can actually de-warp it on the, on the NVR itself. You don't have to take it to the computer or connect it to the software to access it to de-warp the playback video. So again, we're just going to click and bring our channel back up here. And then down here at the bottom right, we can see there is a fisheye icon. So we want to deselect any other channel and then go back to our fisheye. You can either do that by double clicking on your fisheye to bring it full screen or again I just removed all of the channels that were not fisheye or even had a camera connected and it allowed me to click again the fisheye icon down here at the bottom right and that's going to bring our fisheye mode very similar to the other menu and again you can do the same kind of views. We'll just pan through some of them here and this is on recorded video and it lets you de-warp the recorded video that you had regardless of the way it was recorded even though it was recorded in the warped view. And to get back out of this menu you're just going to click the return button here at the bottom right. It's going to take you out of the fisheye view and then you could also go back into the warped view if you needed to. You can right click to get back out of here as well. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.